I'm Al Shanice. I'm one of the uh, appraisers who is working with the state on the uh, Blue Acres program here in Sayreville. Uh, I'm here on Weber Street. Uh, uh, this is one of the first areas where the state has planned a buyout for the residents. This is a Blue Acre project in the uh, uh, borough of Sayreville. Uh, Blue Acres is, uh, comes under the uh, New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection under the Green Acres program. Uh, Blue Acres is the program where the uh, state has uh, elected to purchase up to homes and, and other types of properties that are in uh, areas that are prone to flooding. Uh, rather than uh, repair and, and pay for repairs every year, uh, the, it's going to be more cost effective to just buy out these homes, tear them down, leave them as open space, uh, same as the uh, Green Acres program. Some of these houses have been renovated. Uh, such as uh, the ones next door. The house behind me uh, has not been touched since the storm. Uh, first floor is uh, still completely uh, uh, ripped out. Most of these properties were hit uh, very hard by the uh, Hurricane Sandy. Homes like this have, uh, have not been renovated. Uh, the first floor uh, has, uh, are completely gutted. Other homes have been renovated. But the, uh, during the Hurricane Sandy, the floodwaters pretty much came up to uh, the uh, windows you see on the first level. The property owners will be uh, given offers based on the appraised values. Um, if they accept the offers, the state will come in and uh, purchase all these properties. And from what I understand, the homes will all be demolished. And uh, this will all uh, become parkland, open space. This is the third time in three years that the houses of the uh, uh, been damaged by uh, by flooding from Hurricane Sandy, uh, Hurricane Irene, and uh, north e uh, northeast or uh, prior to that. So um, year after year, they have to replace you know, the heating systems, the electrical systems, uh, and now with the flood insurance getting so expensive, it's it's a difficult uh, it's difficult for them to keep uh, rebuilding. It's going to help because uh, they you don't have to deal with the flooding. Uh, which occurs in this area year after year. About a thousand feet to the west, uh, you have the Raritan River, uh, and uh, such as in uh, Hurricane Sandy, when we had that surge, uh, the water rushed up the river and, and literally rushed into these properties. Uh, and speaking with some of the property owners, I mean, they had, you know, minutes notice. Uh, you know, the water rushed up so quickly that uh, uh, they literally had to be carried out of the houses in some instances. We're valuing the homes, prior to any storm, unless there was substantial renovation after the storm. And the value is going to uh, make these people whole. Uh, you know, what, what would they have been able to sell this house for uh, back in October of 2012? Uh, because uh, right now, uh, not too many people want to buy in these flood, uh, uh, flood zone areas such as this.